how to make a palm tass with loom. What a palm tass is, is a pom pom attached to a tassel. So I have some examples for you here. This one is a, these two are regular pom poms attached to a wild and crazy tassel. This one is two pom poms attached to a basic tassel and this is the same. I had used the different color yarns here so you could mix and match as you like. All right, so what you'll need are a finished pom pom and a finished tassel. In this case, I have a basic tassel. And for the head knot, I actually use something thin. So this is a crochet yarn, but you could use embroidery floss as well. Scissors, tapestry needle, yarn needle, and a cord or a string that you like to attach this palm tass to. Okay, let's get started. So what you'll do is you'll use method one um, from the other video in terms of how to find that tight center core. So you'll gently take, you'll gently actually poke your pom-pom with your tapestry needle, your yarn needle, and you're gonna find that tight center core. Okay, so in this case, I made it white so you could really see the contrast and it's easy to see. So, let's see here, all right. So I can see here that tight center cord is actually moving in this direction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the needle and go under that tight middle cord. And then I'm gonna take one end of the head knot, string it through, thread the needle. Take this through on one side. So you could actually decide if you want, you could just tie your tight double knot here now, or if you're really gonna attach this to something that's gonna be moving a lot, like your purse or a keychain, I actually recommend going, taking the other end and actually sliding it also under your tight middle cord there, but in the opposite direction. What that means is one end is coming this way and the other end is going this side. Set that aside, and now all you do is pull. Once you pull both ends, this is gonna actually naturally pull the tassel up. Now you're gonna make a tight double knot. Okay, two. If you want it extra secure, turn it over and make another tight double knot. So now a lot of times, what you'll be left is with these two kind of loose ends. I like to actually hide it by just taking my needle very close to where the attachment is, taking it through and see how it comes through in that side. It doesn't matter where. You could actually hide these. And it actually provides a little bit more security for um, your tassel and the attachment as well. Pull it. I'm gonna do it for the other side. Okay. Pull it. And now what I like to do is just pull and then cut. Again, pull and cut. So now I like to attach this and let's say I want to make this into a necklace. Um, you could actually attach this if you're making earrings or something like that. You could actually attach it to a jump ring as well. And it's the same technique using method two. You're gonna poke gently. You're gonna find that tight middle cord. And then you're gonna go underneath it. Okay, here it is, here's the tight middle cord. Again, I made it white so you could easily see it. And now I could make this into a necklace. Here we go. Here is a palm tass along with these other ones. 